Hello guys, welcome to Fronta Solutions and welcome to your lesson on grade 12 momentum and impulse. We're looking at or rather we are in our past paper series. So the question that we are looking at today is the Houghton Provinces September 2021 Physical Sciences Paper 1 test. So without any waste of time, Let's get into it. So the statement from this question is, let's see, it says, a car with a mass of 900 kilograms, so I'm going to call the car 1, so its mass is 900 kilograms, is moving east, okay, and collides with a freestanding barrier that has a mass of, so I'm going to call it object 2, its mass is 3,200 kilograms okay study the momentum time graph of the car in the barrier below and answer the questions for okay cool so i will zoom this part later <clears throat> when we need information from it okay so question one says state the law of conservation of linear momentum the law says the total linear momentum the total linear momentum the total linear momentum of an isolated system of an isolated system okay of an isolated system is conserved right is conserved right perfect so this is the law of conservation of linear momentum now, use the information given on the graph and calculate the final speed and direction of the car. Remember, initially the car was going east. So, let's see the information. Let me zoom. The information here. Okay, let me zoom once more. The information here, as you can see, it seems initially the momentum of the vehicle was, was uh, 18,000. Okay, as you can see, it was 18,000. Do you guys see that? It was 18,000. Okay. So, and that's okay. So, the question is asking us the final speed and the direction of the car. So, let's look now at the final momentum. What is it? The final momentum of the car. Obviously, here is the car. Remember, initially, the barrier was freestanding. So, here is it. Its initial momentum was zero. As you can see, this line represents that of the barrier. And this represents that of the car so what is the final momentum of the car as you can see it's negative 144 okay it's negative 144 so obviously it seems the east is positive right the east is positive all right so this is the information i am getting in this diagram as you can see initial velocity was positive meaning the east is positive so we know we are given the final momentum which is p final is equal to mass or p1 final let me put it like that to say final momentum of object one is equal to mass of object one multiplied by final velocity of object y what is the final momentum of object y it was 144 kilogram meters per second what is its mass its mass was or is 900 kilograms we do not know what its final velocity is all right we do not know what its final velocity is right okay so let's go now now proceeding what do we have we say 900 divided by 900 uh, 144 divided by 900 all right negative negative 144 divided by 900 is negative 0 comma 16 so here is it negative 0 comma 16 equals v1 final okay this therefore means v1 final is 0 comma 16 meters per second where as you can see the value was negative and you said east is positive what is possessed uh, opposite of east it's west Okay, is 
west. So the final velocity is the final velocity is 0 0.16 meters per second. Okay. Now the question further says calculate the impulse or use the information given on the graph and calculate the impulse of the car. Okay. It says calculate the impulse of the car. So let's see. What we have, what we know by now is that impulse is basically change in momentum. Isn't it? Impulse is basically change in momentum. What is change in momentum? Final momentum minus initial momentum. I'm using final minus initial because this is the information we are getting from this diagram. We are given the final and initial. Again, we recall final momentum was negative 144. Initial momentum was 18,000. So let's see. It's negative 144 minus initial momentum was 18,000. So what is the impulse? The impulse is 18,000. Oh, negative 18,144. Now be careful. Yes, you can leave your answer as um, kilogram meters per second, but preferably leave it as Newton second. So it's 118,144 Newton second where? It's negative. This means it will go west. Okay? This means it will go west. So this is the impulse of the car or impulse on the car. Okay. Pat. Now, let's see. Now, number three says, use, uh, sorry, is this collision elastic or inelastic? All right. Is this collision elastic or inelastic? We know that we must be using um, EK is equal to half MV squared. That is your kinetic energy. All right. So now we must first thing first, find um, some of the kinetic energy when before collision, All right? Before collision, what is it? It is half, what is, um, oh, again, I also should tell you that momentum, maybe let me change the color. I also should tell you that momentum is MV. So if you don't have, we do have the masses, but we don't have the velocities. So I will say velocity is P over M. Okay. Velocity is P over M. So you can also include this information. If you like, you can also include this information. Okay. You can also include this information. Okay. So substituting, say this is what is the mass of, for example, initially the mass of um, the car was 900 kilograms. What is its momentum? Its momentum was 18,000 over, I'm using this formula, over 900 all square plus half the barrier. What was its momentum? Its mass, its mass was simply, oh, not simply, it was 3,200 and its velocity, remember, it was a freestanding barrier. So it's zero. Okay, it is zero. So what is the kinetic energy? Total kinetic energy, let's see, 900 and uh, 450 times. 450 times 18,000 over 900 all squared. So what is this? Sugar. Uh, what is this? So this is 180,000. Okay, this is 180,000 joules. Okay, this is the total kinetic energy before collision. Okay, now we're going to look at the total kinetic energy after collision. Let's go. So, EK after collision. Half, that one was 900, 
what is the final what is the uh the final momentum it was 144 if i remember it was 144 so i'm gonna say it doesn't matter even if you don't put the negative so let me just put the negative for argument's sake negative 144 over the mass was 900 all square plus the barrier is 3200 ever its final momentum let's go its final momentum as you can see now it's 1844 so it will be 18144 over 3200 all square okay i'm not going to calculate this um individually i'm just gonna get sorry i'm just gonna get my final answer straight away so let's see 450 into um negative 144 over 900 okay all square plus 1600 uh, plus right it's plus 1600 into 18144 over 3200 square what are we getting we are getting five oh, 51000 four hundred and forty nine comma seventy six joules right comma seventy six joules as you can see now total kinetic energy before collision is not equal to total kinetic energy after collision right after collision therefore let me return it to you initial position therefore therefore the collision is in elastic collision is in elastic okay the collision is in elastic okay collision is in elastic all right so this is it the collision is in elastic because the total kinetic energy is not conserved Okay, guys, so this is how you attempt these questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So this is it, and see you next time. Bye-bye.